So you're new to ARK and want to get started on the island? Let's get right into it. Welcome to the Beginner's Guide series. This series will have all kinds of stuff to learn. We will be going over every single map in each video. Today's video is the island. So you're new to ARK. Today, we will teach you everything from metal spawns, base locations, the best caves, and more. Let's start it off with the best area to spawn. When you look at the sidebar, you'll see different difficulties on each zone. But this doesn't always mean what it says. South zones are the easiest as they have no hard-hitting dinos that will kill you instantly. Although, West zones are the best spawning areas in my opinion because of the explorer notes. Oh, that's right, you may not know what explorer notes are. Explorer notes are basically boxes or vases that give you experience, helping you level up tremendously. So once you spawn in, I recommend going to every one of them in West Zone 1 and 2. There are about 6 of them scattered through the area. Just be careful, you may run into a raptor. Now. Let's move on to the base locations. Base locations are essential for maps as they provide the player with the best possible area to play. Let's go on to the top 3 PvP base locations and the top 3 PvE base locations. For PvP, the locations are 29.4 latitude and 32.0 longitude. This first location is very useful as it's a large cave with a small entrance. If you build your base right, this cave can be nearly impossible to raid. Coming up next, this location can be found at 14.7 latitude and 85.5 longitude. This location is similar to the last one, it has a small entrance that goes underwater and opens into a big area to build in. The last location can be found at 10.0 latitude and 21.6 longitude. This is another cave-like area, but underwater which is the reason why this is a hard location to raid. The PvE locations would be 82.6 latitude and 83.5 longitude. This location is called Herbivore Island. This is a great PvE area because of the shape of the island. This next location can be found at 89.2 latitude and 24.7 longitude. This location is great for PvE as it provides a safe area to build away from threats and is near a metal spawn. The last location can be found at 22.4 latitude and 69.6 longitude. This is called the Oasis. It used to be a very popular spot on official and is perfect as it's surrounded by walls and makes for the great PvE base. Now, the time you have all been waiting for. Metal spawns. When it comes to metal spawns, it's hard to find the right areas for farming, especially if you're new. So let's go over the best ones. The first location you can find metal spawns is at 75.7 latitude and 46.6 longitude. This is located in South Zone and has a very good amount of golden metal nodes. By the way, the more golden a node is, the more metal it gives. Coming at number 2, you can find this location at 57.0 latitude and 48.3 longitude. This location offers a lot more metal, but more threats that are defending the metal, like Carnos and Argies. This location can be found in the middle of the Redwoods on the highest mountain. The third location can be found at 42.5 latitude and 38.8 longitude. This location is called the Volcano. This is the best location for metal as there really isn't that many threats other than the lava and the carnos and argies and stuff on the side of the mountain. The only issue is getting up to the location takes a lot longer than other ones. Those were the top 3 metal spawn locations. There's a lot more, we just wanted to go over the top 3. Coming up next we have caves. The caves are one of the most important aspects of the map as they have artifacts in them. There are too many caves to go over, so we will be going over the top five. Coming at number one, we have Carno Cave. This is located at 14.7 latitude and 85.5 longitude. The cave is the same as the PvP section, so we won't go in depth on this. 
coming at number two, we have Pearl Cave. This is located at 29.4 latitude and 32.9 longitude. This cave is a huge cave with a small entrance. I won't go into it as we just did that with the PvP section. Coming at number three, this can be found at 41.6 latitude and 45.9 longitude. The reason why I like this cave is because of how simple it is. It's the perfect cave for beginners looking to farm some keratin. Coming at number four, this location can be found at 80.1 latitude and 53.6 longitude. This cave is great for building away and staying hidden. If you build this cave right, it is amazing for PvP servers. And finally, coming at number 5, we have 62.6 latitude and 37.1 longitude. This cave is for more skilled players for farming lots of keratin and farming cave drops. Now, it's time to get into the essentials. The essentials are pearl spawns, where to farm polymer, cementing paste, artifact locations, and drop locations. Let's get right into it. The best pearl spawn locations are on screen now. They will vary from being on top of land or underwater, so make sure you get an underwater dino. Polymer or organic polymer can be farmed on these icebergs from killing penguins. I recommend harvesting them with a club or a chainsaw. For farming cementing paste, there are a few ways to do it. The first way is farming beaver dams which can be found in the swamps and in the river going through the middle of the map. Also, some lakes or pond types forms of water have them too. Just be careful because beavers attack and they hit hard. The best way for farming cementing paste is going to this cave found at 62.6 latitude and 37.1 longitude. Going into this cave with a megatherium or a frog will allow you to farm thousands of cementing paste in minutes, and I mean minutes. Just be careful, you need a gas mask and your team will be taking a lot of damage. The artifacts are on screen now. There are only 6 of them needed to fight the boss, which are Skylord, Clever, Pack, Massive, and Hunter. Take these to any drop or obelisk to summon the boss in an arena. Just be careful, you'll need a lot of dinosaurs to defeat these bosses. And the final thing you need to know is the crates. Supply crates are the beacons that are different colors. Not the Aulis, which are three massive beacons, but the small ones. Once they hit the ground, they stay there for 10 minutes before despawning. These crates have a range of gear or items depending on the color. White is the worst, and red with a ring around it is the best. You have to be level 65 to open the red drops, and level 3 to open the white ones. For the best drops, look over in the harder areas. North zones are the zones which have the best drops, while south zones are the ones that have the worst drops. See anything that we missed? Leave it down below in the comment section. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new and hit that subscribe button. Next week is the center.